Hey guys, last year, and welcome to another Minecraft Pixelmon versus mode here on the channel today. Now it's been a minute since we've done one of these. It's actually been about two weeks, has it? Or am I just missing? No, I think it's been about two weeks. So, start things off. If you guys missed this series and want to see more of it, click that like button, share, suppose this video can get 10 likes. I will guarantee this series again the following week. However, today, guys, we have an interesting p opponent we are up against. You've probably already seen him in the thumbnail, but that is him all the way over there. Let me not show any more of him. But also the fact that he's an ultimate boss. That is right. We have yet we have only ever faced an ultimate boss once in this entire series, and that was way at the beginning where we got stomped. But however, our new rules suggest we actually can defeat this man. So how we are essentially doing this rule shift right now is, as you guys know, last week we fought a legendary boss, or the two weeks ago we fought a legendary boss, and he had four Pokemon. This time fighting an ultimate boss, we only have to deal with three Pokemon. So we won't be using our stack of Pixelmon Lucky Blocks and two stacks of Master Balls to do this. I'm also running in the newest version of Pixelmon 6. Point, uh, 6.3.4. I might be wrong. It might be 6.4.3. I either way, running in the newest version, it has updated twice since last time. And I said I wasn't really gonna cover the updates because it didn't seem like they changed much in terms of adding things. However, it does seem to be a little bit smoother than normal. So let's actually see how that goes today and let's start opening our guys and Tyrantrum being the first one of course if you don't know how this works essentially what we do is we open these picks up on lucky blocks we catch every single pokemon that comes out then we use these pokemon to create an unstoppable force of a team to combat the team we'll be going up against being that we're fighting an ultimate boss today all of his pokemon will be 40 levels higher than my max so if i get a level 100 for example his pokemon will be level 40 if i get a level 60 his pokemon will be level 100 and so on so we have to choose our team very efficiently today again i didn't even get a sneak peek of what is Pokemon aren't? Oh, right off the bat, we got a Xerneas. All right, come here, Xerneas. I'll take you. Um, hopefully, we can get some Mega Stones out of today's drops. I hope so. There's a Rotom. There's a oh, a Deoxys. Perfect. There's a Kyogre also. Okay. A Dud. <laughs> oh, Mega Stone. A Tyr a Tyranitarite or whatever. All right, I'll grab that. You know, I don't think I have yet to add in the uh, the things to make Diago and Palkia primal form. I don't think I added that into the Pixelmon drop rate yet, unfortunately. So that's probably not going to be a thing today. Uh, I apologize for that. I need to make a mental note to do that. It takes like a second to do. I just have to remember to do it. Oh, two duds in a row. I'm not. I'm not really feeling that. Oh, Star Raptor. Hello, Star Raptor. Pidgey, you want to pick a fight with me too? All right, Aura Sphere. Discard all chicken. Sir, would you like your chicken? No, I, I don't need it. it. It was a Pidgey. Ooh, Spiritomb. All right. guess this is the official quote that Spiritomb's not legendary. I always considered Spiritomb a legendary, but considering it didn't say a legendary appeared, I guess the, this is Pixelmon telling me he's not legendary. Uh, there's a Carnivine. A Nuevern. Oh my god. Hello there, Nuevern. He's the one that I always think is a pseudo legendary, but I don't think he is. Um, we got a dud out of that. We got a Linoon. Okay. Linoon. <laughs> I love Linoon's voice. He's like, what? Like, he just sounds annoyed for no reason. Uh, legendary spawn. Obviously not. Uh, we got a Pupitar. We got another Weezing. That's two Weezings Weezing. we've gotten now. Another dud. We got another Chub Chubku. Is that his name? Chubku? I think that's how you pronounce it. I watched that anime episode. I don't know why. Oh my god, three Weezings. I should have a team of Weezings and teach them all explode. I already got a Bayonetite. We got a Graveler. Okay. Okay, Graveler, I see you. Um, oh, hello there, Drudigan. Now we got an Alakazamite. A Grimer. Okay. Wait, Grimer, come here. Spiro, stay back. Uh, a Lotad. Spiro, stay back. Did I just catch the Spiro? Great, I broke my own rules. Now yeah. I, just, I just officially caught a Pokemon that's not part of the, the thing. And now Lotad's glitched because of it. Great! A Relicanth. I haven't been to New Zealand yet. I don't have a Relicanth in Pokemon Go. Oh my, hello there, Conkador. I have a level 100 shiny of that in Pokemon uh, Moon. Drifloon. Sir Superior. Grab you. It seems like I'm getting more Pokemon this time around. I think I am, actually. Raichu? Or Raichu. Pichu, I mean. Munchlax? I forgot about Munchlax. Wow. I actually did. Oh, Mesprit? Alrighty. 
Uh, Hound Hour, what's the chance we can get a legendary in the last one? Oh, uh, we got a grass gem. Might be useful to shop it. A uh, Paris. Wow, nice texture. Alright, final po Pokemon. Legendary happen. No water stone. Okay. Think about time we made our team then. Let's get into this. So, as we know right off the bat, we got a Xerneas, a Deoxys, a Kyogre, or Kyogre, if you like saying it in the weird way. We got a Mesprit, and we have two more open slots. So, essentially, closing the gap of 50 and 70 is near impossible. But we'll see if we have any Pokemon that range above 50 somehow. Oh, we got Noivern. Noivern, however you say his name. He's there. Oh, and so is Drudigan. All right. Any chance we have another level 50 that would like to uh, swap? Ooh, a 63. All right, Mesprit, I'm sorry. But you're out of here. All righty. I'm liking the odds of our team now. We're doing really good. What is our HP status? Uh, Xerneas being the top. All right, that makes sense. Xerneas is one of my strongest shinies in uh, Pokemon Moon as well. So we'll take it. Um, but considering I don't have a use for any of these, I find myself wanting to give them to you. However... What type is Gardevoir? Oh, he's... For some reason, I thought it was part grass. All right, well, you're getting these five gems so I can teach moves to these guys. So, uh, I think I should teach you... What do you have here? Moonblast. You don't have Moonblast? So, of course, I'm giving that to you. You're to gravitate. Uh, Kyogre, you know your moves. Ancient Power, Water Pulse. I'm assuming he has some form of water. So, Ice Beam it is. Yeah, we're getting rid of Sheer Cold. Not risking that. Sorry. Deoxys, you're up. Psycho boost, uh, yeah, might as well. Oh my gosh, he doesn't have a psychic move. Okay, um, I need to teach Deoxys two moves now because apparently he knows nothing. Psycho shift, using its physical power of suggestion, the user transfers its status conditions. Oh, that's that, oh, psychic. I didn't realize I actually just had psychic or again, nightshade for that. All right, so that's four, and let's give one more to my man Kyogre. I'm saying Kyogre now, even though it's Kyogre. Aqua Ring is good to have. Sheer Cold, nope. Ancient Power, let's have. So, oh, we do have Origin Pulse. Okay, perfect. So get rid of Scary Face. All right. So now that we got our team set up, let's go and fight the big man himself, Goku. But not any Goku. This is Ultra Instinct Omen Goku from Dragon Ball Super. So, hashtag spoilers if you haven't watched the show yet. Let's get right into this in three, two, one. We're starting out with the Litwick. You're kidding me. The most powerful man in the universe has a Litwick. Versus my Xerneas. Did you guys hear Xerneas? Jeez, that was terrifying. All right, I guess we start off with Ingrain. Use Willis, but I avoid the attack because I'm a boss. All right, uh, I guess Night Slash is the best thing to use against Litwick since it's Ghost type. And I'm burned. Well. I guess we're just having a face on. By the way, like I said, all his Pokemon are going to be level 110. Oh, Fire Spin now, too? You're brutal, Litwick. And you're not going to swap out your Pokemon? Wow, you really must be confident right now in the fact that Xerneas is going to die from all this. Oh, now he swapped them out to a Ducklet. So we got a Litwick and a Ducklet. All right, not intimidated yet. Not intimidated at all yet. Uh, aromatherapy, if you would. There we go. Heal my burn. And now Moonblast. So, I think Xerneas is about to one-hit KO his full team. Uh, bye, Ducklet. Litwick, you're back up, I see. Let's Night Slash you. And who's my final opponent? A Nuzlu. Okay, uh, Moonblast. Super effective. I win. I just, I just defeated an ultimate boss. You know, considering his team was randomized, uh, didn't seem that challenging but considering we beat him i guess i should update the signboard out there yes we're actually gonna have a signboard for this <laughs> so that happened um so there's a few ways we can go about this since we've never officially beat this and i need you guys to comment down below what you think and if you don't think if you don't comment anything i'm just gonna go off of what i think so we just defeated this guy, so I'm gonna, of course, put down Ultra Instinct Goku Omen, Ultra Instinct Omen Goku out here on the signboard. I'm gonna put an item frame indicating uh, who we used to defeat him, being Xerneas. Now, how Xerneas is gonna work now is I don't think. Okay, so this is the thing I wanted you guys to let me know. Should I not be allowed to use Xerneas ever again since he single hand, since he was the main contributor to defeating this ultimate boss? I don't think I should be able to use him ever again. 
That's just my opinion. Also, do you think I should keep the ultimate boss at three Pokemon? And it was just like unlucky random chance that this guy got weak Pokemon because remember it was randomized I had no idea who I was fighting against just happened that Xerneas was the perfect matchup for three of his Pokemon had a good move set um it could have went another way it could have gotten stomped also it was complete luck that I got Xerneas out of the uh the Pixmon lucky block also can I just look at the wyvern really quickly look how cool this thing looks but my point um you guys can let me know in the comments down below what you think I should do um, if I even remember uh, about this, but uh, let's throw out all of our Pokemon that that didn't contribute but still kind of were on my team. Xerneas being the main contributor. And that's going to include today's Pixelmon episode. I hope you guys did enjoy, or not Pixelmon episode, Pixelmon verse mode. If you guys did enjoy, click that like button to show your support. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.